I'll let you know when the last question is. Okay. Just wait. I have a few. I, hear I only have 20 minutes, so. <laughs> <laughs> only 20 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, can you describe Cosmos in a single sentence? Yes. It is our attempt to connect the viewer to the universe in such a way that you learn not only how we have come to learn how the universe works, but how we've come to embrace what our place is within it. What is the most memorable experience, good or bad, uh, from your first conference? First uh, science your, conference? Yes, your first science conference. Oh, my first as science conference. As a speaker, per se. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, no, I have no bad experience. I love conferences. I have no bad experiences in any of them. I, you give a talk and people ask questions, probing questions. It's the job of people who you give a talk to among colleagues to stump you. <laughs> That's their job. Right. Because if you're going to give a result, it had better be a very tight result. Otherwise, someone's going to find the hole in it. So if you survive them trying to poke holes in it, then you can you are elevated for how well you did your work. Sure. So no, I, I, I love conferences. And you get to see people you hadn't seen in a while. And you get their firsthand reflections on how they think the universe works. Uh, how is our Algebra 1 class for 8th graders any different from Algebra 1 in other high technological countries such as maybe Japan? Yeah, I don't know what they teach grade by grade in Japan. <coughs> so I don't know what they teach grade by grade in other countries. I just know that at a given age, when they give a test internationally, the United States does very poorly. So either we are all being taught the same thing and Americans are learning less or they're teaching them more at an earlier age in Japan and in, uh, in other nations. And we're very low, 26th or 7th on some standard lists that have been uh, produced. So, by the way, success is not just how well did you do on your exam. It's also how creative are you. When you come up with an idea that no one has thought before. And it's one, been one of the strong points in the United States that people have a certain irreverence for what is, and they want to change it. And even though if you're my teacher, or you're my father, or you're my elder, that doesn't carry into the respect I have for you being those things to me does not carry into whether I think you're wrong. Last question. Whether I think you, your ideas no longer apply to the world that I want to create for tomorrow. So I'm going to walk away from you right now and do that. <laughs> right? So that is, that's an extraordinary cultural distinction. That in America, we don't have this sort of ancestor worship. We don't look to our ancestors as having the insight into how I am going to earn money tomorrow. Okay. Last one. Okay, last, one. last question. Um, what historical character do you think would have been a great collaborator of Isaac Newton? And this can be from uh, his time or another time? Who would have been a great collaborator? Oh, uh, Albert Einstein. Oh, yeah. They are the same as each other, just in a different era. You put them together, they, they would take over the world. <laughs> and we will, we will willingly be let them do it because they're, they're the smartest people in town. Uh, they're the smartest pair of people in the last uh, half of a millennium, possibly even the entire last millennium. So maybe I throw in Leonardo. Leonardo. Yeah, just throw him in there. <laughs> Why not? Just to shake it up. Because Newton and Einstein were not engineers. They were pure scientists in their thinking and in their writings. Leonardo was also an engineer in his ideas. You put them together, they can invent a tomorrow daily. <laughs> so. Okay. Dr. Well, Tyson, can you please uh, just give a, a brief message to the people of the RGB, just challenge them to, to find more about science, to embrace okay, science? Okay, and so it is uh, RGV? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, okay, so that's what, that's what you call it, RGV? Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. RGV. Yeah. And I just say, hello, RGV. Just yeah, you can say okay. that. Sure, yeah. sure. Um, to, the, to the camera, if you can, please.
There you go. So should I say RGV or should I say Rio Grande Valley? Rio Grande Valley. Rio Grande Valley. Hello everyone in Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, your personal astrophysicist, and I'm here to to compel everyone to every now and then look up. Because that's the only way you can imagine a future that might be different and in particular better than the present in which we all live. And the innovations in science and technology will bring you that future. Thank you, Mr. Okay, was that too long? I'm sorry. That was great. Okay. That was, okay. That was great.